congratulations on the film, guys. Thank you. You've obviously spent a bit of time on set and on screen together before, two very kind of different films, of course. Um, I'm wondering if you've picked up any bad habits from each other in that time. Hmm. I beat up my assistant like Jake does. <laughs> I don't have an assistant. So. <laughs> Um, I don't know. No, actually, I picked up wonderful habits from Jake. Jake, I, I, Jake, like, goes to the gym when he is working and, like, he stays really well hydrated and, like, always has to put the tea in his hand and, like, and I, I don't know, I, I, I actually started to pick up those pushing habits. Pushing 30, man, you know, you gotta yeah. take care of yourself. Gotta hydrate. That's very, very gotta true. Gotta hydrate. Um, very, as I said, two very different films. The characters that you play in this sort of do things about the wrong way. They kind of go mm -hmm. through the sex thing and then realise that perhaps they're falling in love. What's stopping them from loving each other, do you think? Well, I think once, you know, you've been through certain experiences in your life, uh, particularly in the case of Annie's character in the movie, um, you know, the idea of intimacy means great vulnerability and I think when you're incredibly vulnerable anyway, I think the tendency is to protect yourself. And um, in the case of someone like my character who is you know, uh, gets by, and I would say is a bit lazy when someone is, dim you know, I think a relationship requires work and you can't be lazy in it, <laughs> you know, and, and I think he's terrified because he comes from a family of people who are in the medical community and it's very sterile and not very connected, you know, and so when two people are asked to, you know, be intimate, take over for me, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> Doing so well. No, I, I think you're, you're you're on the right track with the vulnerability Thank you. thing. Thank you very much. I think people don't like to feel vulnerable, mm. and I think people. Um, it's so uncool. I mean, we all <laughs> we all spend so much time trying to be cool, mm. and I think, like, I mean, I'll speak for myself, and I think you know, when love hits you or when you meet somebody who moves you, I think it's ultimately it's totally uncool, and you have to be yourself, which a lot of people would say is uncool. <laughs> and, you know, and that's what's so cool about it. <laughs> <laughs> we agree no, it's cool. But it's fun. I think Jamie uh, really, I think part of the reason why he's trying to avoid being vulnerable is because he's never allowed himself to go there. And it's this huge unknown. What's, what's going to happen if, when I turn this rock over? Am I going to like what I see? And in, in my character's case, feel free to disagree with me if that's not how mm -hmm. you put it. But, yeah. uh, and in my character's case, she has... Uh, She's two years into her diagnosis of early onset Parkinson's disease, which she hasn't even accepted, yet she's actually living in denial uh, of her diagnosis. And accepting love means accepting herself, and accepting herself means accepting her disease. And that's a journey that she's not yet willing to take, but when she meets Jamie, she sort of can't help it. Look, and we're dealing with some, you know, pretty heavy subject matter. I've learned um, a reasonable amount about it on the early onset Parkinson's, but it's also um, a romantic comedy, and we're seeing a very comic side of you. Was that something about the role that appealed? Yeah, I think uh, that's. I think my tendency is towards that kind of um, energy, you know, um, comedic energy. And I think for a long time I was trying to deny those things. And when I really asked myself what I loved, the movies that I loved, and the movies that sort of inspired me they were all a lot sort of they were comedies and so when this came up it was like you know this was like Jerry Maguire which is one of my favorite movies and you know so many other films that I love within the same kind of context like um, Spencer Tracy and Catherine Hepburn films any of them like bring a baby you know I mean and I just thought this is what I kind of want to do. do and yeah. an R-rated comedy as well, so you get to have a bit of fun. Yeah, well, I have a horribly crude sense of humor, which I'm probably not allowed to share. It's true. Though. Um, you can. I don't, Tell us don't, the worst joke you know, the don't, joke you know. Don't share it. I can't. I, I actually can't. can't because they will storm this hotel Beep. and, and, and beat that, us. That'd okay. be the end of, that'd be end of everything. Okay, that's good. It's fair to <laughs> both. Um, congratulations, by the way. Oscar's coming up for you. Thank Bye. you very Crikey. much. Thank How did you. that come about? I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> to be totally honest, I, 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 I got the call and my, my manager said, are you sitting down? And I said, well, well, yeah. And she goes, okay, uh, you're, this will never happen. Like, just prepare yourself. Cause I, I, I she, I'm even tongue tied describing it. And then she said, you've been asked to host the Oscars. And my in, initial instinct was just absolutely not. I couldn't possibly do this. This is too big. This is ridiculous. They, you know, I, I, who could take that kind of pressure? And then James Franco said he was doing it, and I thought, well, it's kind of cool. 
And I just thought, oh my gosh, you know, I, I'm, I'm someone who I don't like to back down from challenges. I don't like to say that I won't do something because it scares me. And I thought if the only reason I'm not doing this is because I'm scared, then I kind of, I have to host the Oscars. <laughs> and so it, <laughs> and so I just decided it was a once in a lifetime. How many know, people would you hear say that? <laughs> you know what I mean? It was, I realized it was a once in a lifetime opportunity. What incredible memories. And I, I mean, look, even if I'm terrible, it's still gonna be one of the most extraordinary things I've ever gotten to do. So I decided to just embrace the journey as opposed to the end result, which I hope and I'm positive will be great. Of course you will be great. Don't do it oh, naked okay. or they're gonna ask you to do you that. You know what, you didn't have to tell me that. No, no, I no. knew enough. Okay. I know, you're, they, I, I believe me, I was it's gonna come girl. wearing clothes. Are you kidding at the Oscars? Girl. I have like 12 costume changes already planned. What are you doing? I said you're a smart girl. Oh, thank you. Aw. Yeah. I mean, I she's said, an I actress, but she's a smart girl. Well, it's that sense of vulnerability that you were talking about, and you guys have had to answer questions on the whole getting naked in front of the camera for love and other drugs, I'm sure, on, the, on these junket tours. I mean, that sense of vulnerability when you get on set, I'm sure it's a closed set, um, you have to get your kid off in front of, ostensibly, some of your mates who are shooting the film. Is it, what word would each of you use to describe how that feels? I had seen her ten, uh, uh, five years before, four years before naked, so I was just looking forward to it again, to be honest. And you? Well, how, uh, she said one word, Jake. That, that was more than one. Yeah. Joy. <laughs> uh, how did I feel? I felt um, pretty neutral about the whole thing. No, it, I. Uh, l let me take you through the thought process. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit when you said that. <laughs> I'm gonna swallow that. Um, what, 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 you felt neutral? <laughs> yes, I felt, I felt very... To be, could be, you know what? Yeah. Because it was really scary, and if I had so had you a feeling, neutralize when you're yes. terrified. Well, she's apparently going to neutralize when she hosts the Academy Awards. <laughs> FYI, for anybody who's going to watch it. It didn't matter. Ultimately, here's the thing: the, re the reason I say neutral is because it doesn't matter how you feel. That's it's such your a job. Bad word. It's a, t it's a great word. Neutral. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry that. How'd you feel about working with Jake? Neutral. Okay, I'm just gonna point. I'm gonna call actor on you because you just totally personalized something that was about me. True, very true. <laughs> it's more Deal male, it. isn't it? Deal with it because you're losing. Because you're an me. actor. Because you're losing me. <laughs> Bring me back. Um, uh, no, I, I just said joy. And answered. Neutral. Yes. Look, because here's the thing. I don't want no because I don't think that these scenes should receive any more attention than any other scene I agree in the movie. With that. We we had to get emotionally naked and we had to get physically naked. Each one were, was challenging and scary and exciting for different reasons. But um, how did I feel about it? I feel very lucky to have my job. So I guess I feel grateful. <laughs> <laughs> neutral and grateful. I feel neutral. <laughs> about all of it. I'm so, I'm so sensitive about this. You're very sensitive you liked it about it. For some reason. Uh, I'm getting... Getting wrapped up. I'm getting wrapped up. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks I look forward for to saying the Oscars, but looking Thanks forward to seeing the Thanks for having us.